Good morning to you. I'm Storm Track 8 meteorologist Marcus Bailey. Look at your forecast here as we head into your Sunday. As gloomy as Saturday was, it will be much nicer here to wrap up your weekend. So I'm going to start you with Storm Track 8 future cast clear this morning, which is starting things off a little cool. There's a little bit of patchy fog that won't last long, burns off by mid morning. By midday, it is abundant sunshine. We will continue that trend through the remainder of the afternoon. It's going to be a great day. Uh, the temperatures will respond in kind to all of that sunshine. We'll start off again chilly, low 30s by uh, mid morning, mid 40s by lunchtime, and we'll finish the day off into the mid 50s and just kind of a light. Light southerly or southeast wind around three to five miles per hour. I think everybody makes it to the mid 50s across the board. 53 Kokomo and Richmond, 55 in Shelbyville, 56 Columbus, and 57 in Bedford. Should be quiet tonight. May have a few clouds rolling in. 47 at 8 o'clock, down to 41 by midnight. We'll gradually see those clouds increase. Overnight, so I don't think we'll bottom out in the 20s tomorrow morning. Still cool at the bus stop, but not as cold as what we'll deal with this morning. We'll call it mid to upper 30s to start things off for your Monday morning, so it should be dry. Uh, here's future cast. I'm going to start you tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock. Again, no issues weather wise as you're heading off to work and school. We'll continue to see those clouds increase through lunchtime. Now, as we head into the late afternoon and early evening hours, we're going to have a southern system coming in, and most recent model trends are keeping the rain in the southern third of central Indiana. This is at 7 o'clock. You see some of these showers rolling through, and that will continue late night into the overnight hours. We could see some of that rain leak up as far north as the Indy metro area, so I'm at least going to leave the mention for some isolated showers, but right now we're leaning toward better chances for rain probably in the southern third of the state, northern portions of the state. Look to be relatively dry right now. 46 around midday and 53 for your afternoon high. And again, you're going to have a lot more in the way of cloud cover to start off the work week. It's going to be another kind of close call as we head into it looks like maybe Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. Much of Tuesday appears to be pretty dry. You're going to have another southern system Tuesday night down into Kentucky and Ohio. This will knock on the door of southeastern portions of Indiana. This is uh, Wednesday morning at midnight. We may see this lift a little bit farther to the north and west, and if that is the case, we could see some snow showers. That could bring some light accumulations at least to the southeastern portions of the state, and if that even goes a little bit farther to the north and west, we may have to include more areas around central Indiana. So something to keep a careful eye on. This is not locked in as of right now, uh, but for the time being in the Chapman cooling, uh, heating and cooling eight-day forecast. We're going to leave things dry for both Tuesday and Wednesday. That is very much subject to change. Spring officially starts at 12:15 in the afternoon on Tuesday, but we're going to have some pretty cool temperatures for much of the work week. 41 on Wednesday, 44 on Thursday. Next rain chance arriving on Friday, 47. That'll carry over into Saturday with a high of around 50.